Ghost men horror here. Tales of horror. All of us were getting a bit bored in the summer camp. Oh, we had done all the adventures. Swam in the lake. Now it's getting dark. We're all in the cabin with midnight sacks and passion for trying to see who could come up with the best horror story. The prize being a huge bag of goodies all to yourself. John said he wanted to go first. John, my tale is called Hot Summer Night. It was a beautiful hot summer night. A boy and a girl were laughing and playing in the family pool. At a dare, they decided to strip off their clothes. The boy stands by the girl with his arms wrapped around her. He started to kiss her as they gaze into the star-filled sky. Suddenly they hear a strange noise coming from the distance. Ignoring it at first, the girl turns to kiss the boy. Her lips touched nothing but thin air, and the boy's head was missing. When she looked in the pool, she screamed at seeing the boy's head at the bottom of the pool. In a panic, she manages to get back inside her parents' house, believing it was a haven. Standing in the kitchen was a stepdad, washing his bloody hands in the sink. She just screamed and screamed until her head was cut off too. Mark and Richard both clapped and said, Love the tale, but it's time for another. Mark, is my turn. Let's see if my story is a bit scarier. My tale is called Monster in the Closet. Once upon a time, a little boy was afraid of the dark, but his most intense fear was his bedroom closet. Every night he went to bed. He asked his parents to check the closet, and each time they said that no monster living in his closet and it was, it was time he grew up. So being angry with his parents, did not did not believe him, he decided to investigate the closet as he was getting closer. He heard terrible cries and screams and an eerie silence. Cautiously, the boy gingerly and slowly opened the closet door. A hairy hand grabbed him and drags him inside the closet. Next morning, his parents could not find him, and both began to worry. So they too, out of curiosity, approached the closet door. He opened to find a pile of mashed up bones for a small boy, their son. Richard, well, it's time for the last tale of the night, called Women in the Gap. A college unit student decides to visit his friends. A friend, when she gets to a friend's house, home, he is under the covers of his bed. They talk for a while while she's getting worried about his a friend's very strange behaviour. As she's about to go, he said in an urgent and deadly serious voice, You can't go. Why not? she replied. He won't let you, he said. She looked around the room, but see nothing. Wonder about a friend's mental health. If you go, he'll follow and kill you. She became drawn, instantly scared, but noticed her friend's eyes looking down, looking towards the chest of drawers in the corner of the room. A chill runs down her spine. There, in the shadows of paper thin creature, clutching a pickaxe, staring back at her. Police were completely baffled of entering the room of the phone call to find a boy and a girl horribly killed by numerous blows of a pickaxe.